Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you how I got this eye look and it's a very, very bold look. It's blue eyeshadow, which I don't usually wear, but I just wanted to try blue because it's out of my comfort zone. I figured why not try it out? So if you would like to see how I got this blue eyeshadow look, then please keep watching. I'm going to start with a Too Faced chocolate bar palette. I'm going to use the shade Hazelnut and I'm going to use this as my transition shade in my crease. And then I'm going to use the shade White Chocolate and apply this on my brow bone just to basically set the eyeshadow primer I put on before. I put on the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden, so that's what is underneath. For the fun part with the blue, I'm going to use this blue shadow from ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Shadow in the shade School Bus. This was from their Hello Kitty collaboration. I don't think they sell it anymore. But I know that ColourPop has other blue eyeshadows that probably look really similar to this. It's basically just a dark, kind of like royal blue slash navy blue. So I'm going to use this on my entire eyelid, I think. I think I'm going to try using this Morphe MB16 brush to apply it. I feel like I need to get the brush that ColourPop sells specifically for their Super Shock shadows. Because I haven't really found a brush that I like to apply them. A lot of times they apply better with my finger, but I don't want to apply my with my finger because my nails are a little bit too long right now. I just want to be careful that I don't put it like in my crease too much because I don't want it to transfer above my crease. So I know that looks really harsh right now, but I'm going to blend, obviously. Now this is the Urban Decay Alice Theory Looking Glass Palette. I know I'm going into a lot of palettes. I usually don't do that, but it's just that I don't have that many blue eyeshadows, so I had to like dig around all of my palettes to find some blue ones. But I mean, of course, if you want to recreate this look, you could use whatever blue eyeshadows you have. These are just the ones I have. So I'm going to use the shade Metamorphosis. It's this really light blue shimmery shade. And I think I'm going to just add this to the center of my lid, kind of if you were doing a halo effect. I think we're just going to cover the whole lid with this color. I like the combination of this on top of that color pop shadow how it just lightens it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna basically apply this on my entire lid wherever I put that ColourPop shadow. Okay, so now I'm just going to use this brush I used before, just a fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna blend my crease. I don't have any extra product on this brush. Just so I can start getting the blue blended in with the transition shade. I'm going to add more colors, but this is just to start blending. And then I just dip the brush in a little bit of that Metamorphosis shade from the Urban Decay palette, and I'm just going to use this to start blending my crease, just to bring the blue up, but this shade is a lot lighter, so it's not going to be as harsh in the crease. And then I'm going to clean off the brush and go back into that hazelnut shade from the chocolate bar palette, the one that I use in my crease and just add this to the crease. I think I'm going to try a little bit of the shade Milk Chocolate up here, and I'm going to add this to my crease as well, because this one's a little bit more cool toned for a brown, rather than the Salted Caramel, which was a little bit more warm toned, so I think this might help blend with the blue a little bit better. And then I'm going to go back into the White Chocolate and add more to my brow bone. Okay, so now going back into the school bus shade from ColourPop, I'm going to use this for my lower lash line. And I'm going to go into that Metamorphosis shade too and add that on top. And now I'm going to try using this shade from NARS. It is in the shade Himalaya. It's just one of their dual intensity eyeshadows. And I think I'm going to put this on the center of my lid, kind of if I was doing a halo effect. So I don't know if I like how it looked with that NARS shade on top of it, so I'm going to try something else and see if it helps. Yeah, I think this looks better. So I'm using these shade Sugar Bells from the Too Faced Chocolate. What's it called? Chocolate Shop Palette. 
And I'm going to put this on the center instead because this is more of a silvery blue. I think it looks better with a blue than that NARS shade. I think that looked too gold. I don't know. It looked kind of weird. I feel like looks like this don't look good until you do your mascara. So I'm going to use my Essence eyeliner pen. This is a waterproof pen. I just got this from Ulta. So I don't know if I like it or not. We'll see. So this eyeliner is kind of difficult to work with. I like the formula and the pigmentation. That's not an issue. It's more the applicator because it's a felt tip, but it's a very, very stiff felt tip. Depending on what type of applicator you like for your eyeliner, you might not like this. So I'm going to go over it with my M Cosmetics eyeliner because I love that one. So hopefully it will help me to clean up the wing a little bit. Okay, so now for mascara, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Look. So this is the finished look for my eyes. I know it's kind of old, but I think it looks nice. I like how it is all blended together, and it's not just blue. It's also with a little bit of brown in the crease, and then kind of like a more pop of lighter silvery blue on the center of my lid. I like how it turned out. I think it looks good once you have the whole look finished, like once you do your eyeliner and mascara with these really dark kind of like smoky or dark bold looks that are kind of like with the blues and stuff. I feel like they don't really look good on me until I finish it up with eyeliner and mascara. That's just my opinion. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. You can let me know in the comments if you've tried out a look like this or what you think about the products I used or if you have any other recommendations for future videos for me. I would love to just hear your thoughts on what else you would like to see. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!